All right, so my bonus track got cut up. So this is bonus B side B. So we went through again, pens. We went through the trig circle. We went to the unit circle. We went to trig graphs. We went to circle of units. I think we went to one other besides that. Let me go back up here. Circle of units. Uh, and we went to transformations. Matrices. Where in fact you put both circles and matrices together to get a lot of power of 3D you know, stresses or animation. I'm leaving out all of the graphic ends of this, but they usually relate through. We're now going to go to the Hooke's Law, which essentially if this is a delta X and this is a force, Hooke's Law looks like this, where in fact um, F equals kx or k delta x therefore the energy equals one half k x squared or delta x squared that should look very similar to stress strain where in fact you have this concept of the modulus of elasticity where y equals mx plus b, stress equals the modulus of elasticity times the strain, which eventually leads to an equation that looks like this. If you think about stress being force, I'm going to put that up there over area, equals e. Now to change in length, strain is the change in length over length, so you end up with a delta L, or the change in length equals PL over AE. That's for the graduates. You would remember this one. This is the stress strain. You have the fact that both stiffness, strength, and toughness all have units of PSI or KSI because this is unitless or inches per inch. So the next one, in addition to the trig circle, the unit circle, the trig graph, circle of units, transformation matrices is stress strain, the stress strain relationship. I will finish it off back to the big picture and the little picture. Um, there's probably more, there's many, many more as we get into flow, you fill in um, conservation of energy, conservation of math with Bernoulli's equation. Um, so I'll cover that. I'm going to go to almost finish here, home new slide. All right, back to some basics of math. Many, many basics, but the derivative is the slope and the integral is the area beneath. We know that the slope y equals mx plus b or y equals the tangent of phi times x plus b is the same thing. We know that the if the slope is m, the slope of the perpendicular is minus 1 over m. There's a lot more you can learn underneath here. We know that what division means. Division means reverse multiplication. Multiplication by the inverse, I guess you could call that, or set theory. We have to remember that inverse is an important thing to know. All right, we're almost done. Um, I'll leave out a lot of this stuff and fill out the 390 and have you out there so you can you can grab it in the future. This is 
the basis before you get into the actual the engineering. This is the 390 math facts that you would might start at after a, a year, I would say, um, or perhaps earlier. So let me go back, see how many we've got here. <clears throat> we have the trig circle, the unit circle, trig graphs, circle of units, transformation matrices, stress strain, some basic math discussion, and then I think finally since we talked about it, we should at least put in here, though it's not on the same plane with all the others, is the concept of axial versus shear, which is more circle. And more circle was in fact about combination of stresses, that if you have a graph, you have a soil prism under both tension, which we're going to call positive, and counterclockwise, which we're going to call positive. Right? If you have that and you graph the combination of shear, so this is axial and this is shear, Across the face, you will have the exact opposite. If you graph them together, you have combination stresses. So this is more circle, more circle. And you have what's called principal stresses. And those are the stresses where, in fact, there is no shear. And then you have maximum shear at an angle 45 degrees from the principal stresses. You have to remember that theta divided by 2. So more circle. Which when you see it has a lot of trig in it, but it's one of those things where you can solve most of it by graphics. I'm forgetting a few, but from those things, and I said the, uh, the, the survey circle, I'll throw it on there and probably get it wrong. Look back in your notes, but if we're going to do this with a left hand and a right hand coordinate system, if you are coming along at this tangent and you're ending up at this tangent, you have a circle there that's offset, offset, right? You have, in fact, the external tangent. is equal to the radius times the tangent of delta over 2. We'll call that delta, where delta is in fact this angle or this angle. They're the same angle. You know that the chord length is equal to when you think about that core length, this becomes a sine. It's two times the sine of delta over two times the radius. That gets you the core length. You eventually also have some concept here of this being delta over two and this being delta over two. A lot comes from the survey vertical or horizontal curve circle and I will defer to a better drawing but essentially these two here get you pretty far because in the fact one of the things you can get from this is the offset along this line out which I know is like an M and an E and something else like this this being R minus some other value there so that's that um, I'm gonna see how many of these I can pull out and then I'm gonna clean this up put it for general conception and call it a summative work for me. Um, if you don't grab those early enough, you end up struggling and, uh, and fighting with what should be the fun part of the engineering, um, which is applying all these tools with graphics and computer algorithms to solve, creatively solve some of the world's problems, which sometimes just is how to get the water down the street.